Hack Tech's training materials. Advanced textiles manufacturing industry. Learning Unit 2. Raw materials and products for functional and smart textiles. Lesson 1. Raw materials for functional, passive, textiles. Passive smart textiles are materials that can only sense environmental conditions, being their interaction with the surroundings extremely limited. In this lesson you will learn about the raw materials that provide electrical conductivity, light conductivity and photocatalytic effect that are used in passive or functional smart materials. The obtention of electrically conductive materials with textile properties and good washability and durability, is key for the development of new wearables and smart garments. There are two main approaches to reach this conductivity. Using conductive fibers in fabric production or embroidery. Or using conductive coatings, pastes and inks, in order to obtain a thin conductive layer on the surface of fabrics. Conductive fibers can be classified based on the type of conductive material. There are metal-based fibers, carbon-based fibers or conductive polymer-based fibers. At the same time, the electrical conductivity can be imparted to the fibers inherently or extrinsically. Inherently conductive fibers are completely produced from a conductive material. However, in the extrinsically conductive fibers, the conductive properties are achieved by coating the surface of the fiber, or by mixing the conductive material with another material to produce the fiber. These later are called composite fibers. Nonetheless, not all of the conductive fibers present the same properties. The most electrically conductive fibers are the metal-based, followed by the carbon-based, and finally by those obtained with conductive polymers. Metallic fibers are produced from materials such as ferrous alloys, nickel, titanium, aluminium, or copper, among others. However, the most common ones are the stainless steel ones. They have good conductivity and higher melting temperature than conventional fibers. However, they also present higher density, stiffness, and brittleness. Due to this, their application in garments must be carefully assessed. Some examples of commercial stainless steel fibers are Beconox fibers from Baycart, IC316L fibers from Imitech, and RStat S fibers from RStat. On the other hand, the most common metal-coated fibers are the silver ones. Usually, these fibers have a polyamide core. Apart from conductivity, they also present antibacterial properties. Some examples of these fibers are the YL shielding silver fibers, and silver stat fibers. In some cases, the coating is obtained with metallic salts, like in copper sulfide coated fibers R stat N and R stat P, with a core of polyamide or polyester, respectively. Pure carbon fibers used in composite materials are intrinsically conductive. However, due to their high stiffness, they are not widely used for textile applications in garments. Instead, the most common carbon-based fibers are extrinsically conductive fibers obtained by coating or mixing polyamide or polyester with carbon particles and its derivatives, such as carbon black, carbon nanotubes, graphene, or reduced graphene oxide, for instance. Some of the most known examples of commercial carbon-based fibers are, Resistat fibers from Shakespeare Company, Beltron from Kanebo Japan, and Negastat from Barnett. Conductive polymers can conduct electrical charges due to a combination of favorable bond configuration, and dopant agents. Among all the intrinsically conductive polymers, the ones that are the best candidates for the development of polymer-based conductive fibers, are polyaniline, polyperol, and PEDOT. As shown, they can reach a broad range of conductivities, but their conductivity is lower than the provided by metals and carbon materials. Generally speaking, conductive polymers are lighter and more flexible, so more suitable to be applied in textile applications, but their transformation into fibers is still a challenge. The fibers obtained present poor mechanical properties. Due to this, in commercial solutions, conductive polymers are used as coatings rather than as fibers.
Conductive coatings, printing pastes, and inks, have to be compatible with the textile materials, and present good adhesion, washing durability, and stretchability. Conductive coatings can be directly applied on the textiles like spray coating, vapor phase deposition, padding or dipping. The functionality is imparted directly onto regular fabrics, enlarging the possibilities for development of conductive textiles. On the other hand, conductive pastes and inks, consist of a dispersion in an organic or inorganic solvent, of highly conductive particles, such as carbon, silver, gold, or graphene and binders, such as suitable polyester or epoxy resins, for instance. The main difference between conductive pastes and conductive inks is their viscosity, being pastes much more viscous than inks. Due to this, they might be applied with an appropriate method such as screen printing for pastes, and inkjet printing for inks. Another passive effect that can be applied in smart textiles is light conductivity. Optical fibers are a type of light conductive fibers that are used to transmit light and light signals over long distances, with minimal loss of signal strength. The basic principle behind optical fibers is the phenomenon of total internal reflection, where light entering an optical fiber is reflected off the inner surface of the fiber and kept confined within it. To this end, optical fibers consist of a core, where the light travels, surrounded by a cladding material, which keeps the light contained within the core. Moreover, for certain applications such as data transmission, optical fibers can also have an external protective coating to prevent its damaging. Optical fibers are typically made of glass, or a polymer such as polymethyl methacrylate, polycarbonate, or polystyrene. However, those made of polymer are more suitable for being integrated into woven, knitted or non-woven structures for smart textile applications. In standard optical fibers, total internal reflection is achieved by means of a change on the refractive index of the core and cladding materials. This reflects the light back into the core whenever it tries to escape, so the light can only be observed at the other end of the fiber. However, a change on the internal reflection angle can lead to a light leakage through the fibers, generating a side light emission. The main methods to generate side light emission are based on changing the angle of the internal reflection, by adding dopant agents, also known as bulk scattering, by bending, by surface perforation or damaging the cladding, and by adding luminescent particles. Optical fibers have applications for smart textiles in lighting, transmitting light to different parts of the fabric, and creating a variety of lighting effects. Sensing. When the fiber is subjected to a change in the environment, the light signal transmitted through the fiber is altered. This change can be detected to monitor changes in temperature, pressure, or other physical properties. Data transmission, to transmit data between textiles, such as in a network of wearable devices. Photocatalytic materials, are substances that can cause a photochemical reaction, when exposed to light. This can lead to interesting applications, such as on photo decomposition of hydrogen, degradation of organic pollutants, or reduction of carbon dioxide, but in textiles the most common use is to develop self-cleaning effects. Some common photocatalytic materials used in textiles include titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. Usually, these oxides are deposited as a thin film, and doped with some metals. Photocatalytic textiles have a range of potential applications, such as air and water purification, and other in which a great cleanliness is required, since they can break down bacteria, viruses, and other pollutants that are in contact with the fabric. In this lesson you have learned, the classification of electrically conductive fibers and the main characteristics of conductive fibers, coatings, pastes and inks. About optical fibers, especially those based on polymers. And the main photocatalytic materials used for textile finishing.